love him so when he flips that dough he's pizza boy usa what is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2021 toyota 4runner courtesy of hanover toyota and hanover pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below wanted to check this one out today because i do check it out or i try to check it out every single year because this thing is a beast and i love it and there are some big changes for the 2021 4 runner this year and of course this is an insanely reliable suv for decades now so having said all that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so there will be plenty of different trim levels for the 2021 4 runner first one being the sr5 starting at thirty six thousand three hundred forty dollars Trail Special Edition, which is a new trim level for the 2021 4Runner, starting at $38,350. By the way, only 4,000 units will be built for that particular trim level. SR5 Premium for $39,550. TRD Off-Road for $40,305. TRD Off-Road Premium, $43,050. Venture Special Edition for $44,620. Limited for $45,395. Nightshade Special Edition for 46810 and lastly the TRD Pro going for $50,470. And so but believe it or not regardless of which trim level that you go with the power plant on the 4Runner is going to be the same. Powering this beast is going to come from a 4 liter naturally aspirated V6 putting out 270 horsepower at 5600 RPM, 278 pound feet of torque available at 4400 RPM. Power sent to rear wheels or all wheels through Toyota's four wheel drive system. System. That power is sent to the ground through a five-speed automatic, giving you zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 7.7 .7 seconds, with MPG numbers coming in at 16 in the city, 19 on the highway, taking regular unleaded fuel. And so, but now having gone over all of those specs, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and put this engine to the test, and let's do a quick little acceleration test here in our 2021 Toyota 4Runner, and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. All right, you guys, here is our straightaway and rolling start. This is a beast. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's not gonna win any races, but you're not gonna be drag racing a four runner anyway. It's definitely gonna be enough to merge you onto the highway, but yeah, it's not the quickest thing in the world, but it is a beast and that is probably why. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so as expected, you will find ventilated four-wheel disc brakes on the 4Runner. And when it comes to that 60 to zero stopping distance, that is going to come in at 127 feet, which is pretty much right on par for the course. A lot of times with larger three-row SUVs slash two-row SUVs, it could be either one with the 4Runner. Sometimes they will come in in the 130s, so 127 feet is acceptable there. As far as the braking feel goes, it's been perfectly fine. It is a little bit of a softer braking feel it's not a bad thing it's kind of more on the luxury side as far as the braking feel goes so it doesn't bite as quickly as let's say a sports car but it's perfectly fine as far as that goes touching on suspension and handling up front you will get an independent double wishbone type front suspension in the back four link lateral rod rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars and so when it comes to the suspension though between the different trim levels it can differ quite substantially i will say that for example let me just touch on crawl control to start with. So crawl control is going to come on the TRD Off-Road Venture Special Edition and the TRD Pro. Essentially that gives you low speed assistance with acceleration and braking. So really all you need to focus on is the actual steering. It's a really good feature for off-road and it's an even better feature for on the beach. Let's say if you were to go to Assateague Island in Ocean City, Maryland, you could take this thing on the beach, put it in crawl control and more than likely be completely fine without any worry in the world of getting stuck. Then there is also a locking rear differential available for those same trim levels multi-terrain select is going to give you a couple different options there again with the same trim levels there however there is a torsen limited slip center differential with the locking feature coming standard with the nightshade and limited trim levels again assisting with traction there as well there is an x ray sport suspension again with those two trim levels once again and then if you were to go with that trd pro trim level that is going to add trd fox high performance shocks and trd two 
tuned front springs as well. That is going to be your most off-road capable trim level, of course, as expected there. But overall, as I'm cruising on these very nicely paved roads at the moment, I will say ride quality has been perfectly fine. It's not the very smoothest I've ever felt, but it's pretty much as expected for the 4Runner, so you're not going to have any issues there. Steering feel is pleasantly very, very nice. I would say it's definitely leaning towards the heavier side, so it does have a heavier weight to it, which is a good thing because it helps point you in the direction that you want to go a little bit easier there. So I love the weightier steering feel that the 4Runner does give you. As far as cabin noise goes, you get a little bit of wind noise at highway speeds, but other than that, it's really perfectly fine. It's acceptable for the 4Runner, so no issues there either. When it comes to visibility, one of the best in its segment for sure because of the boxier shape i can see perfectly fine out the back having said that of course if you have the rear seats up those headrests are going to hinder visibility ever so slightly there but other than that visibility is perfectly fine for me but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review let's now go ahead and find a nice spot here and let's check out the exterior of this brand new 2021 toyota 4runner all right you guys so here she is the new 2021 toyota 4runner with one major change for the 2021 model year being that the led headlights are now newly standard for this year on every single trim level so you don't have to jump up to a higher trim level to go ahead and get them you can even get the bottom trim level and you will get those led headlights but led fog lights also coming standard on every single trim level automatic feature is going to come with the limited trim level and up along with led high beams as well once again for that limited trim level and up front skid plates if you look down below is actually going to come standard for every single trim level across the board and then of course is going to cover the engine the front suspension and the transfer case underneath as well in case you were curious a little bit or a little bit of extra added protection for off-roading of course trd pro front aluminum skid plates that is going to be a little upgrade there if you were to go with that trd pro trim level along with unique toyota lettering found in that front grille as well with some black badging and of course with the limited trim level you will find some added chrome details as well but now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of this one and so now making our way to the side of this one roof rails do come standard on every single trim level of the forerunner yakima cargo basket coming with the trail special edition there will be a trd specific roof rack for the trd pro all trim levels of course will give you rear privacy glass found on those rear windows there when it comes to the side mirrors they are body colored heated power adjustable side mirrors for every single trim level led integrated turn signals coming with the sr5 premium trim level and up of course when it comes to the badging color found on the forefronter it is going to differ in color dependent upon the trim level that you go with Taking a look down at the bottom, we don't have them today, but running boards are optional in every single trim level if you want to go that route. And since we're down at the bottom, taking a look at the wheels, 17 inch alloys come with all trim levels essentially, but the limited and nightshade. And so since we have the limited today, you are looking at 20 inch alloys. Again, they will be specific to just those two trim levels. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the back of this one. So now since we are around back, body colored shark fin antenna can be found up top. If you guys could see that there, rear spoiler with an integrated brake light also coming standard rear window wiper as well one of the coolest things i always love about the forerunner that rear window can open and close that is one of the coolest things you almost never see that on suvs but the forerunner so you gotta love that badging color once again will differ in the back dependent upon the trim level that you go with led tail lights actually coming standard across the board that's always nice a little better illumination at night so somebody is less likely to rear end you i suppose taking a look underneath you will find a single exhaust outlet however it will be kind of tucked away for the most part but nonetheless i think you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip So but now since we are around back of the 4Runner, when it comes to opening that rear lift gate, it is a manual lift gate. So simply just lift up underneath there. That is how you're going to go ahead and open the 4Runner's lift gate up. And so when it comes to cargo capacity, I first did want to mention, as I was alluding to earlier, the 4Runner is a two or three row configuration SUV. And so we do happen to have the optional third row here today. It does come standard with two rows. So having said that, behind that third row, cargo capacity comes in at nine cubic feet so really 
not a whole lot of cargo space behind that third row. So if it is not in use, I would imagine most people would simply just leave that down because behind that second row, that is gonna bump it up to 46.3 cubic feet. So a decent amount of space there. And of course, with all rows folded, 88.8 .8 cubic feet. So that is a ton. That is more than the Highlander. That is more than the Honda Pilot. That is more than the Hyundai Palisade, Kia Telluride. Very good bit of cargo capacity with all rows folded down at least. But in that car cargo area I do also want to mention you will find in-floor storage with the trail special edition there is a 12 volt power outlet in that cargo area as well I was also pleasantly surprised to find a 110 volt power outlet back there so I could charge up a drill or something back there if I wanted to or perhaps a hair straightener whatever <laughs> it's going to be there for you as well also you will find some grocery hooks back there there are some tie down anchors back there then as well but then making our way to the rear leg room since we do have of that third row third row legroom comes in at 29.3 inches so for reference i am an even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there it's essentially the same third row legroom as a ford mustang so i pretty much says it all right there but i will say for those rear passengers there are some cup holders back there for the third row if there were to be some passengers back there then making our way to the second row legroom that comes in at 32.9 inches again for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there did want to also mention there is rear ventilation for those rear passengers as well and there are actually a couple usb charging ports for those second row passengers back there too so i was pleasantly surprised to see that especially if you have kids those are always super important to have in the second row but then making our way to the front seats eight-way power adjustable driver's seat with power lumbar is the standard configuration that comes with a cloth finish soft tex upholstery is going to come with the sr5 premium trd pro and trd offered premium and venture trim levels and that soft tex upholstery configuration is going to come with heated front seats and a power adjustable passenger seat as well then if you were to go with the limited or nightshade trims you will find a perforated full leather seating and those seats will be heated and ventilated front seats so if you guys hear a little bit of background noise it's more than likely the ventilated front seats that i got on right now because they're super comfortable gotta love that feature but overall when it comes to seat comfort toyota and lexus always get this 100 right i still say to this day lexus f sport seats are the most comfortable seats in existence right now toyota seats are plenty comfortable as well so certainly no issues with taking the forerunner on a long road trip so you gotta love that then take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped for every single trim level you gotta love that when it comes to the startup let me first start by showing you guys the key here it's essentially your most basic key you can possibly imagine that's good and bad it's bad because you don't have the convenience of other features like let's say a remote start or a power rear lift gate things like that but it's good because if you happen to lose your keys in the ocean like I have done before the cost to replace this key is probably practically nothing compared to every other key out there so that's going to be there for you too but nonetheless I'm just simply going to put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button which which is actually located just by the driver's right knee and that is going to come with the sr5 premium trim level and up and so taking a look now then at the gauges the tachometer is on your left speedometer is on your right there is a small digital display front and center which can be controlled by using the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side there giving you a ton of different information of course trip a trip b but how many miles you have left until you hit empty there's a digital speedometer you could display up there if you wanted to there's also your radio settings there is a compass there's your safety information when you need your next oil change the list continues but essentially everything you could possibly want up on those gauges there then take a look at overall interior quality a power moonroof is going to come on the limited nightshade and trd pro so i do love that we happen to have that there today overhead sunglass holder is going to come on every single trim level that is also nice dual zone climate control coming with the limited trim level and up you will also find home light controls if you were to go with the premium trim levels and up by the way those home light control buttons are found on the roof here kind of just behind the interior lighting there that is for up to three different garage doors if you were curious about where that button was actually located 
do absolutely love the wood trim detail that we have in our limited trim level here today. I just love the look. It's super nice, just above the passenger side glove box, also on the shifter itself. So that is a pretty cool little detail on the limited trim level at least. Speaking of the shifter, in front of the shifter, you got a little bit of storage there. There is a cup holder, as well as a little place to put your cell phone, it appears to be. Beside the shifter, yet another cup holder. There is that button as well to the left of the cup holder to actually open and close that rear window. That's where that's gonna be located. And within the center armrest here, there is a ton of space. It's a pretty deep cargo area there, I will say that. Along with the 12 volt power outlet, there's a little bit of space to put some change. And of course, if you look on the back side of that center armrest, there is a place specifically to put your tissues, of course. Let's go ahead and make our way now to the tech display on the 4Runner. 8-inch color touchscreen display does come standard on every single trim level across the board. It comes with Bluetooth and audio streaming, of course, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. It's somewhat new for Toyota, so I like to emphasize that. And with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, simply hook your smartphone up to the 4Runner. You have free navigation then up on that tech display. It's always nice. Factory navigation system is available. We do happen to have that there today. And you can, of course, check out your radio settings up there as well. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system on the 4Runner, Eight speakers coming with the SR5 trims, the Trail Edition, and the TRD Off-Road trims. However, if you go with the Venture trim level and up, you will find a 15-speaker JBL sound system with a massive subwoofer in the cargo area. I saw that back there. That is pretty cool. And an amplifier as well, actually, since we're on it. But having said all that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. Now, plenty good sound system for the 4Runner. Ton of bass. You could feel that subwoofer in the seats. That was really quite a nice sound system for this one. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display at least is when you do put the 4Runner in reverse as expected, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so when it comes to safety in the 4Runner, it's kind of honestly hit and miss. This isn't an IIHS top safety pick due to the small overlap front crash test rating. However, you do still get a ton of different advanced safety features, but some of the more basic stuff include front side side current airbags driver and passenger knee airbags as well it doesn't always come standard in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also toyota safety sense and so this is going to include a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection lane departure alert automatic high beams and dynamic radar cruise control as well that's always nice and if you were to go with the limited trim level and up you will also add to that front and rear your parking sensors as well and so overall when it comes to my final thoughts here of the new 2021 toyota 4runner this is a very capable off-road family suv really so you gotta love that for times like where you want to take your kids on the beach in the suv that is super cool that you're able to do that tons of cargo space in this one as long as you have that third row folded down i will say that legendary reliability meaning easily over 200,000 miles in this thing that's always a big plus as well when it comes to room for improvement on the 4Runner not the best fuel economy as expected for really for a vehicle like this interior quality is somewhat basic although again I do like the wood trim although it's very minimal but I do like the wood trim in this particular limited trim level that we have and the crash test scores of course aren't the best either but in the end, still a super solid SUV here. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you want to see what's next on the channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. If you're into car reviews, that is what we do here on this channel. After all, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. Awesome.